Okay, so this is a short battle navigation tutorial video on a sloop pillage against a Fang Chuan. But before I went into the battle, I thought I'd just talk through a couple of the key concepts that I'll reference in the video, um, just to hopefully make things a bit clearer because I kind of jumped straight in during the commentary. So these might sound fairly obvious, but there's three key principles that I like to keep in mind when deciding my move on a pillage. The first one is, how do I not get grappled? How do I not get shot? And thirdly, how do I get shots on them in that order? So my first priority is to avoid the grapple, the second to avoid getting shot, and third, to shoot the enemy ship. And that might sound fairly straightforward, but when you're first starting out in battle navigation, it's a really good way of very quickly narrowing down the options of what's a good move and what's not a good move because if you can get grappled doing that move you don't want to do it if there's a high chance you get shot you don't want to do it and after those after you've met those conditions then you can start thinking about well how do i put shots on the opponent to go into a bit more detail on how i try to achieve that um the first thing you'll notice is i'll look for a good position and as part of that i'll move my ship to the open water on the board. So that's without rocks, without winds, and without whirlpools, because that's going to allow me to anticipate what the brigand's going to do far easier. And the second thing I'm going to do is try to set my ship up into a situation where they will be turning into my line of fire. So that's either predicting a single turn or a left left and a right right. And quite often you'll see me sketch out that path with my mouse as I'm navigating. And while there's certainly a lot more things to think about during battle navigation, um, positionally, thinking ahead, whirlpools, things like that, I think that's this is the key message that I'd like to try and get across that can then be built on later down the line. Of course, this video assumes that you're at least somewhat comfortable with whirlpools and winds and the sequencing, and that you're somewhat comfortable with being able to count shots and understand when the enemy ship is maxed. This is particularly important because as the enemy ship becomes more damaged, just like player ships do, uh, the brigand ship will take on more bilge, which means that the brigand has fewer options, which means they're easier to predict. So as the battle progresses, you actually adjust how aggressive you are and the nature of your predictions depending on the score. And again, you'll see me reference that, but I think it's useful to lay that out at the start um, so that people aren't taken by surprise if I do reference it later during the video. Um, so without any delay, let's get into watching the battle. Recording. Today's good. Yeah. So here they've got to go some kind of right right line to chase me here. So I'm definitely going to go left forward forward. So I'm just repositioning myself into this kind of more open water because this will make the um, brigands easier to predict. Here we go. So now I'm thinking they what did right right. So they I think they might do some kind of forward, forward, forward move.
I do wonder whether just forward forward's better here. So this is where we start with the concept of um, kind of you want to be positioning yourself to where you can shoot them and hit them if on either the front or the back, but they have a very low chance of shooting you at all. So with the left here, there is no possible move that this ship can do that will hit me, but there's a chance if they do left right left I can shoot them so that's a really good move because I'm giving them zero opportunity to hit me and again here if I just sit it and they take a left on first then there's no risk if they do a forward we're not trading so this is kind of the ideal sit setup if you can set up this position on a regular basis this is like most of what you're doing during BNAV is trying to set this position up, basically. So here we went, we got two shots here. So here, of course, I've, if I go forward, right or left, well, if I go forward or left, they can grapple me. So my first objective here is to avoid the grapple. So I'm going to take the right and then I can either do right left, but then I don't really like that because Um, if they do just do a forward, then they're going to shoot me. So, so here, if I'd have just done, if I'd have done a right left, I'd have taken uh, six shots. I'd have taken three cannibals, which would have maxed us. So, by, so I knew what my first move was going to be, and then I kind of implicitly knew what my second was going to be after that. I had to do right, right. And the other moves will come later, but that the key concept there is to take the right first. So here's interesting. I can either sit or I can go right right to anticipate their their right right. Um, but if I go right right and they go right forward, then we'd be trading. So again, I'm taking the less risky move, even though we'd have got potentially quite a few shots on them there. It wasn't worth the risk. Of what of what their move was, and again here, if I just sit and shoot, then there is no risk to me. There's no move they can do which allows them to shoot me, but I'm potentially going to go plus shot. So even though it's probably it's like a low chance of doing anything really, like they just take the left here. But I got my move. My move was zero risk. which is my, my your first priority is to not get grappled and then your second priority is to not get shot and then your third priority is to land shots on them so i think i want to go left right forward here not really got the guns to do it though so i'm just going to do triple left This is again an awkward spot. I think I do. This is a bit of a dumb move. But I didn't really have a good alternative because um, I could have done right on one there, but then where am I going after that? Like I've got to go like right forward, right forward, and then I'm in this corner. It's just an awful position. So while I risk getting shot, I kind of my main objective there was to get out of it. Was to get out the, the sticky situation. So I can go right forward here. 
which sets me up into that really into that nice position where if they go right and then right you can shoot them a lot but it then it leaves me in a really difficult position afterwards but i'm noticing that they're lower moves here so i think they i think that's probably the go signal to be a bit more aggressive So like here, now gone six zero. See if I just sit here. There's not much they can do because they have to do like left balls left, which is a really uncommon move, or left forward right. If they do forward right, then. I'm fine. Okay, so even though this might look like a, a sticky situation, they can't really hurt me here. It's just if I do a forward and shoot or a forward and grapple. So again, it might seem like I'm taking unnecessary risks, but they're calculated. So there I did forward and grapple. Okay, we'll let them move here. I think they might move this turn. We'll do the forward here, I think. Yeah, nice. 